Alright my friends, welcome back to my survival difficulty, no damage, all collectibles walkthrough for the evil within. So during this segment we are going to conclude chapter 13. The first thing that we need to do is clear a path uh, heading towards the hotel so that Hoffman can join us. And the first thing that we're going to do is try and have those guys notice us. Now there's a very interesting thing here in this area for some reason sometimes not all the time but the enemies instead of following you they actually decide to go around the other side of the building and you probably you probably won't see them again if they do this but either way you just want to get them out of the way so that we can go ahead and collect another pouch notice how they're all seeing Sebastian but they're not actually coming towards him they're going around the building and I personally think it's kind of hilarious, but that's just what they like to do. See that guy's turning around again. They're all going to follow the same path and we're going to get rid of this guy. And I'm really not going to worry about the other two unless they directly cross my path. Um, and since they're out of the way, we have plenty of time to go around and collect all of the things that we need to collect. So. There are some parts over here in the corner as well. And the sniper rifle pouch is right over here. So that's the last one. You should have three now. And now let's go through here. And let's have those smoke bolts prepared. They're going to come in handy. And we're going to get rid of that guy over there and collect another part for our flamethrower and then we'll be able to build it. Let's get this done. Remember two stops with the first smoke bolt and then fire another smoke bolt and get rid of him. Go. Might as well get rid of this guy as well. And now we can get inside the hotel. Let's just pick up the green gel and also the flamethrower component. That's it. The last piece I need. And now we can move on. But actually before we do that and I almost forgot we're going to get uh, another machine gun ammunition pouch or assault rifle ammunition pouch it's right over here in the corner so make sure you get it and the last one you'll get at the start of chapter 14 but yeah before you step into the hotel make sure you go over there and collect that and now let's get inside and get a move on Hotel is clear, Hoffman. Are you done with your tweaks? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, I'm sending you the coordinates. Well, here it is. What is it? It's a portable field stabilizer. O'Neill must have been working on it before Theodore changed him. It creates a small area of stabilization that should keep the fire away. How small? Its circumference is about as big as a safe house. Big enough to protect me. Good. How's it work? That's the tough part. It's a prototype, so it's a little temperamental. I have to operate it. Last thing you want is for it to go on the fritz while you're in a wall of flame. I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. So is staying here if you can't get inside. Besides, I'm sick of hiding. The only way we're going to get through this is if we work together. It's the only way to save Lily. And what if you need emergency psychoanalysis? 
Who's gonna help you then? You know just what to say to convince me, Hoffman. Of course I do. I'm the team psychologist. That you are. You might want to prepare for this. Let me know when you're ready to go. Okay. So before we go ahead and move out, there's a lot of items for us to pick up here, so make sure you get them all. And also there's one of those mysterious items that we need to collect. Also make sure you get Hoffman's journal. Seems that Hoffman is essentially analyzing everything. But that's fine. Uh, anyway, let's go through here. And we're going to pick up this mug and now we can also go over here and if you check this vending machine you should get something a couple of or I don't think we get anything else nope I didn't know if you would drop something else aside from the fuses but I guess not anyway let's get a move on are you ready Sebastian all right Hoffman Let's do this. Okay. Lead the way. I'll have to carry and operate it from here. It should protect us from the fire, but it won't stop those things in there from trying to kill us. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Here goes nothing. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and do this. So as you can surely understand, we, we need to remain inside the circle. Uh, otherwise Sebastian will be burned. Just make sure to stay inside the dome. Come on. And our goal here is to protect Hoffman and at the same time protect ourselves. Obviously there's going to be enemies trying to stop us from getting inside. You'll notice that Hoffman has a lot of handgun bullets for you. And as you advance, there are a few item boxes that you can open and collect some ammunition or um, syringes that way as well. The next two will come from behind you, or the next Another one will, one. for Watch sure. Back, That's what you're here for. Good thing, they're everywhere. go he's down and this one's the other one there we go shot straight in the head and now there's going to be another one coming from your front so make sure you get him as well there we go and now we can get a move on And Hoffman still doing all right. How much further? It seems a lot longer once you're in it. He wants to keep us out. Good. That means he's afraid. That's one way to look at it. But anyway, the next wave of enemies is coming. The first one should appear from in front of us, and then we'll have to turn around and get rid of another Don't one. Stop now. We're almost there. There he is. And now let's turn around and there's another guy over there in the corner. Make sure you get him. They will drop like green gel and maybe some items that you can use to make ammunition. But for the most part, I wouldn't even really worry all that much about them stepping inside especially because since we're close. going to keep walking forward we can collect the items as we keep advancing uh, so for the ones behind you I wouldn't worry too much personally Yeah, you did do that, Hoffman. I don't regret it. But anyway, here comes another one. Man. 
Uh, now things will be a little bit more tricky because there's going to be more of them coming at the same time. Here comes another one, I, I knew he was coming from the front but I actually forgot there for a second. I'm glad I'm using the shotgun here. Oh come on! Are you immortal? Seems you are. I hate when this happens. Since the enemy hadn't finished spawning yet, I guess we couldn't hit him. And as a result we just wasted a few uh, shotgun bullets doing that. Oh well. It's not like we need them at this point in the game, but anyway. That is annoying. Uh, be ready to fire a smoke bolt to the ground if you want that way. Uh, there will be enemies coming at you at the same time now. So if you fire a smoke bolt to the ground, that will buy you some time. And this is the last time we have to do this, so yeah, let's use the smoke bolt. That one almost caught me, but sorry, not today. Make sure you get whatever you need at this point because it will change into a cutscene right away as, as soon as you finish the last one. Gotta go! Now! 